I can disprove evolution. If it can be clearly demonstrated that no single dog contains a trait that can be classified as an increase in physical traits, such as new organs, limbs, sensory perceptors, or similar clearly new traits over its likewise kind, for example a fox, a coyote, a hound, and a husky are all dogs, and this holds true for animals and plants over all variations of life, it can clearly and reasonably be concluded that the varying traits we see between the various species is not a result of gain, as the evolutionists would suppose but rather the result of loss from the original dog which contained all the traits that every dog we observe today once possessed in its ancestral history. This does not include the appearances of chemical changes or immunities gained and certainly not mutations that are detrimental otherwise adaptively beneficial such as longer or shorter hair or resistance to a disease which can be viewed as an alteration of what already existed in the past and cannot account for the radical changes evolutionists say are possible. If my theory can be demonstrated to be true, that no single animal will possess any trait that can clearly be demonstrated as to be the result of gain and not loss, then evolution will have officially have been disproven. If an evolutionist attempts to disprove this theory by using the fossil record, by example using similar illustrations as a Tyrannosaurus rex and a Stegosaurus, there can be no conclusive proof provided that two creatures share a common ancestor, as evidence clearly suggests that such changes in contemporary living creatures does not match the variations we see in the past. God, the creator, made the T-Rex and the Stegosaurus, or similar creatures that would eventually give birth to both, that do not share a common ancestor, but were created by God. There is no evidence to conclude the contrary. I did not come to this conclusion by myself. I looked at what the Holy Bible, the Word of God, said on the issue of kinds producing kinds, and I rightfully concluded, based on the authority of Scripture, that animals do not make different kinds of animals. Dogs make dogs, they came from dogs, and God created the dog as the original kind. Should someone compare the research and evidence against the theory which I have proposed, you will find what I have said to be true. I thank you for listening to how I have disproven evolution.